Hey buddy, it's Victor. It's time to the right here, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. We did have another video across 3,000 likes, thanks to the Mosh Pit going back and liking those videos, which now only puts us eight away from the Glitch Chaos Run, which I am looking forward to. A lot of people are as well. We just gotta, we gotta remember that it's holidays and all that kind of good stuff. I appreciate everyone going back and liking those videos. Here's your meme of the day here, brought to you. <laughs> Brought to you by positive number uh, 3586. Title of the thread was Biscuits and Ketchup. And they said, your homework is to eat biscuits and ketchup. Do it now. I'll wait. Or at least that's what I said. And they said, no, I don't think I will. Also, every time I see this meme, I always think that that's Ryan Styles from Whose Line Is It Anyway? But I don't I don't know where that where that's from, what movie this is from. But also in the thread, they also said, I paused the Thanksgiving special to make this. Sorry, Sin, I won't be eating this war crime of a snack. But then in parentheses, they said, and I willingly eat peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwiches. So, like, I'm not going to say that, like, your, like, bad opinion invalidates my bad opinion. But, like, how are you going to say that you're not going to tr even try biscuits and ketchup? But then you're going to say you eat freaking peanut butter and mayonnaise sandwiches. Insanity to me. Kilo 9, Zulu, Golf, Romeo, Zero, Fox, Rock, Quebec. We've got great tiers. Uh, horrible movement speed. Decent damage. We also have decap attack again. I feel like decap has been like ever since we had the decap episode it's just been like I don't want to say constant but like we, you, we usually don't see this I don't want farting baby I really don't it it just it does deal poison damage I guess to things and also knocks back things but it also contributes towards like conjoined and I don't know man I'll take farting baby there you go. I willingly, I, for just for the first time towards the end of the year, in our the year 2023 of our Lord, I have willingly taken Farting Baby on a run. I hope you're all happy. Farting Baby stands rise up, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, this is a very good start here. Um, I will say that, you know, with, with Decap, that it gives us a little bit, I mean a little bit of leeway to... I don't know where our secret room is. This, this is the only place that our secret room makes sense. It gives us a little bit of leeway to get a little bit aggressive with our play style, especially with us having a very good amount of tears rate. Um, however, we do have to be very cautious of our positioning still with this horrible, and I mean absolutely horrific, movement speed. The deep cap attack here, absolutely destroying Widow right now. And that is what we want. Juicy Sack was our other passive item, by the way, uh, that we have. We're going to start off with a nice tears upgrade. We do need damage and movement speed, but... Uh, we could, with a little bit of extra HP, we could go into the curse room. I think the super secret room is there. And once again, just like yesterday, we have a floor where I'm not entirely sure where the secret room is. Oh, it's got to be here. It, it has to be here. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we get a little bit of uh, extra money here. So this will at least pay for our way into the curse room. Uh, and I say that because, ooh, well, we get movement speed. I say for that, say that because we will obviously uh, be able to go buy that soul heart out of the shop. Although now we don't technically really need need to. Um, we actually need a key more than anything. But having the mark is going to definitely set us up for success here with a damage upgrade, movement speed upgrade, and a soul heart. I am going to buy this. I might as well buy this key as well, just so we have some assurance that we're going to be able to get into the next item room on the next floor. So yeah, very strong start overall. I'm very happy with it. Of course, to go over to last week's question of the episode, what was your Thanksgiving weekend plans? For those of you who do celebrate the holiday on the Captain Saver Run episode, which a lot of people did enjoy the title of that. If you don't get the reference, I'm not going to say why. Um, but uh, the most upvoted comment came in from DNA4063, who said, uh, I give my thanks to Sinvicta, and I give my thanks to you, DNA. Thank you very much for being an active member of the Mosh Pit community and uh, you know all your upvoted comments and just leaving comments and in overall positive in the in the community in the comment section it is very valuable thank you dna uh second most upvoted comment came in from marco scannon or or, or marcos can as i think it's marcos is marcos cannon uh, they said i don't celebrate thanksgiving it's not a tradition here in spain but i am a bit tired from my job so i will go back to my hometown to visit my parents and my younger brother you really you really miss them whenever you're far away from them and honestly like that comment really kind of like spoke to me a little bit because like I've luckily been I've been around 
I've been around my parents for uh, forever, really. I mean, we've never really been all that far away um, from one another, so I don't really have a I don't really have a point of reference to get, but I do have a lot of family members in other parts of the country where I'm like, man, I feel like it's it's been like it's just been so 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 long, you know, like seeing seeing your family only once a year, then like maybe seeing them every other year, like it does it does kind of add up. So I, I definitely get what you're talking about. Um, and especially around Thanksgiving, even though you say you don't celebrate in Spain, um, it's still like, a, you know, just the time of the holidays. I mean, everyone, everyone at least knows what Christmas is. And that's a, a very common time, uh, to, uh, to meet with family, friends, and loved ones. So I definitely get you on that one, Marco, uh, or Marcos. Yeah, Marco. And finally, last but not least, we also had, uh, Justin Lynch, one, two, two, zero, who said going out to dinner with, to a restaurant called, the bread of life for our dinner with my grandmother and the family. Monday or Tuesday, we will all be eating with my sister-in-law. So, yeah, just, a, you know, a I do know a lot of people who do decide to go and not do, like, a at-home Thanksgiving thing, and they kind of go off and, you know, let someone else cook it. I mean, that's, like, I, I, I ain't going to be mad at that. I have yet to ever actually do, like, a full Thanksgiving uh, meal at my place yet. Although I did technically do it one year, I guess, but Mama Victor kind of helped with that. We are going to get a movement speed upgrade and then get an immediate movement speed downgrade. So, there we go. <laughs> and uh, I think Gimpy is a good play here as we are probably going to take some damage. We still have the extra HP that we got from Mom's Kiss. Uh, and I am feeling confident enough with this amount of HP to go into the cursed room to go see what we got going on in here. At least we got a movement speed upgrade from uh, the Constellation Prize. We also got a payout from Gimpy, so this is actually technically free. We get a couple bombs as well. Okay, 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 man. Um, secret room might be there. I need to go for confirmation in this room over meow. Still don't really have confirmation, but we have plenty of bombs. Okay. Gonna get us two keys. Okay, okay, okay. Definitely down with that. Um, as expected, our other, our shop is, our, the shops have just been so just trash lately. I mean, I'm not, I'm really not the only one who's been seeing that. Um, I actually talked to the, the mosh pit on Twitch the other day about that and people were like yeah it's it's seriously pretty bad um i think mom's kiss is actually technically better for us as we don't need oh wow it gives us an empty heart um as we don't really need uh, like holy mantle is great and all but it's only good for one hit and then it's gone with the wooden cross whereas this is just an hp upgrade first the unknown what we do know is that we have one red heart. So if we do happen to get that devil deal, we can at least kind of we, we we know what to what to expect. And if we do end up using our devil deal, uh, using our HP for the devil deal, it will actually consume mom's mom's kiss. So we will lose the trinket. Um, again, it just acts as a temporary HP upgrade, which is very good and very strong with the uh, tainted keeper too. By the way, not willing to go into the curse room yet. Um, Let's wait. Let's wait to see what else this, this floor has to offer us before we start looking at uh, going into curse rooms here. Yeah, you know, it's not that we're in like any danger or anything. It's just that we have to kind of play conservative until we know for sure that uh, it's not going to like harm us in any way. It's definitely one of the more annoying rooms here. But decap one shot on the hosts as long as they have their open hat is uh, very good. You saw me use the, actually the decap. I double tapped it there accidentally. Um, but it was able to to do the little the little levitating thing you saw right there. If you double tap decap, you can actually get a little bit more uptime on a single target. Not that you really even need it for that much because decap does deal so much damage, but it is nice to be able to maximize your damage in case you need it. And no, 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 no. We took experimental treatment as a, as pure courtesy yesterday, and it actually hurt our tears rate. So speaking of tears rate, we're actually going to gain some more tears and it's going to max us out on floor three, which is. Something that we don't get to see all that often. Oh my goodness, look at all this moolah. Okay, okay. 47 cents, so you know that that means that this uh, this store is not going to be great. And we do get a stopwatch here. I will take fanny pack as well. I like fanny pack. It does give us a little bit of extra value in it whenever we do, whenever we do take damage. Um, and yeah, of course, the stopwatch is going to give us a... Much needed movement speed upgrade and slow everything down, which makes things a little bit easier for us as well. It used to be almost an automatic win. Now I would say stopwatch is not an automatic win, but it's still really dang good. Um, 
you know, moving everything at, at a snail's pace, being able to sort of like methodically pick apart encounters. Whoa, okay, it's calming down there, Stain. The red poop kind of messing with the physics a little bit there. I go get perfection, which I'm probably not going to take unless we lose the mom's kiss trinket here, which we won't. However, we will gain a lot of damage here thanks to the pentagram. Um, first room. We've got, we are making good time, so I, I don't mind trying it here. I probably should have looked for the, the super secret room there with that barrel. The reason why I'm I'm considering the curse room here is because we have Gimpy, but we also have Fanny Pack. So the chance of us getting something pretty decent are, are very high, um, as we also have a Demon Judgment here, which I am going to use the uh, Lover's Card for, because remember, we have, again, the aforementioned Fanny Pack and Gimpy, and look at that. Gimpy gives us a Soul Heart, and we end up getting Dark Matter as well, which is going to give us another damage upgrade. So that worked out beautifully. And that's just kind of like that risk assessment that I was talking about just a couple minutes ago when we we're talking about having more value whenever we take damage. We're able to get stuff, or at least have a, a much higher chance of getting stuff back whenever we do take damage inevitably, and that worked out in our favor beautifully. So we maintain our HP here, 73%. Deal with the Devil Chance on floor four. And we are definitely primed to get some kind of big time play here out of our out of our Devil Deal, I hope soon. Big room might be south of there, it's hard to tell. Oh, I not only did we not hit anything with the decap going <laughs> going into that little space here, but we also didn't hit anything on the way back out. I don't think I can do that again. We get Mons Perfume, which is gonna raise our tears cap as well a little bit. So everything really coming up Millhouse here in these last couple of runs. What a good way to start off this week after a long Thanksgiving holiday weekend. Still, I'm I'm still eating eating some leftovers. I don't know about y'all, but Thanksgiving leftovers definitely can last quite a while. It's the ham that does it for me, man. Like I like I'm just give me all the ham. All the Thanksgiving ham, and I'm happy. That's like a, it's a, a very, a very good protein sodium snack you can have at like pretty much any single time. Like there's never a bad time to eat ham, in my opinion. All the doors open. I thought we were done with this room. I was surprised to see a bomb fly come out of nowhere. Uh, that little, that little sneaky play that that, that the wandering nub, the red one over there on the left side did. If we hadn't had cleared out all those Ipecac nubs in the middle, that would have actually uh, encroached on us and hit us in that room. So it's good that we have the fire rate and damage to be able to take out those Ipecac nub walkers uh, before that one had a chance to kind of screw us there. Again, we do have plenty of money, so it is worth it for us to go back and look for the Tienda. Necesito... Mucho uh, Tienda. I mean, there's only going to be one shop, but how cool would it be to actually have multiple shops per floor? Definitely off and running here today. I am, uh, people have been noticing that the, that the cough has kind of subsided now for the most part, and I will say that I think that the shorter videos, along with me not um, not streaming so much on Twitch and uh, just giving my voice a rest, has definitely helped out a lot. The predictable greed fight is here. We do get a steam sale, much like we did yesterday. And you know the cough. I still have the cough for sure. Um, it's it's prevalent, but it's not nearly as bad as it was like a month ago. Um, obviously, and I, I do I do want to thank everyone for being so supportive and understanding uh during that you know the the coughing the coughing arc we're not we're not out of it yet i don't want to jinx it but um you know it is nice not not just constantly coughing all the time and i know that how much of a pain at least i my perceived pain that it was for people but 
Apparently it didn't really matter a whole lot to people. Even like even the sleeper the sleeper members of the mosh pit who only use these videos for sleeping, uh, they even said that they, it doesn't it never really bothered them, so it wasn't a big deal. Which really surprised me because I was like, man, there's no like I can't sleep under optimal conditions, let alone this dude coughing on the on the microphone every ten seconds. And again, like not to not to go back and and revisit the 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 sappiness of yesterday's the end the ending of yesterday's episode in case you missed it, but you know it, it's it's just another one of those things where people are like you know yeah it's we don't mind the shorter videos we of course would want more Isaac content but you know a shorter video if that means that you're able to get a little bit healthier and and be happier then you know we're all for it and that's that's the mosh pit for you man. Um, this is basically free at this point, so what we can do, we can either hold on to our Red Heart upgrade, um, which I definitely want to do. We're going to take nine lives, go over here, take Death's List, and then that way we don't lose any Soul Hearts here, and uh, still maintain our, our Soul Hearts, but having the Red Hearts, yada, yada, yada. Now, surely there's no way we get Guppy back-to-back, -back, right? Right? There's no way that we get Guppy in back-to-back -back runs. That's that's just that's lunacy here. Although I did see, going back to what we were just talking about, I, I did see a couple of concerned uh, posts. People were making sure that I didn't overdo it during the Thanksgiving special. You know, but it was it was like it wasn't too bad. Like my voice wasn't wasn't too bad for that day, and it is it is getting back to normal, as a, a lot of people have been pointing out. Which, hey, happy days, right? But of course, these days and age, like, if you're coughing a whole lot, everyone just assumes the worst, right? And, like, when I go out to, if I was in public or whatever, or if I was at someone's house, I'm like, I know, I know it sounds bad, I promise you, but I'm not sick. It's not, it, it is not, it is not, uh, not any affliction that you need to be worried about. And, uh, you know, obviously they have to put a lot of trust in you, because I understand how that sounds, especially with how bad the cough was, but, um, you know, I'm just, uh, like... It, it was never a, really a problem. Like, I never really got, like, you know, like dirty looks or anything. I, I got to leave the house in order to get dirty looks in the first place, so. Spiders. Juicy Sack kind of screwed us on Death's, Death's List there. I mean, Death's List was basically free anyway, so. And we do get a Queen of Hearts, which would be a nice play had we had... Had we had a Red Heart upgrade, which we don't anymore. Okay, Juicy Sack is making this impossible. All the spiders, unfortunately, are kind of screwing our uh, death list play here, which is unfortunate because we like we do need some movement speed, as that is one of the more common stat upgrades you can get from it. But what can you do? We're we're not in any trouble here. You know, you ever see those like really slow moving like softball pitches or baseball pitches? It's like it's moving so slow your brain cannot comprehend what you're seeing. That's what that shot was right there. Let's dial it back a, a bit on the bad damage here. Death, death list is just not going to happen. We there's there's too much interference with the spiders and everything, so I'm not even going to worry about it. I would like to get like you know a usable store it would be nice, especially with us having a steam sale. We still have a little bit of time left before we need to start worrying about the clock when it comes to uh, when it comes to boss rush. If we can manage that, that would be great. Kind of bullying our way over here past the mulligans. Yep. They, uh, again, super, super quality, quality, sh quality shop right there, I tell you what. Another single premium item shop. I mean, I'm not the only one who's been noticing the lack of shops lately. It's just been... It's been real bad. It's been real sad, really. Operating on a 36% chance here for the Devil Deal. We did get a Tears Up from Death's List and also a Movement Speed Up from the Belt. And curse the blind on our boss rush. All right. All right. 
So any any of those good vibes, positivity feelings that you had go right out the window. Thinking about we're having a gonna have a nice a nice easy time. Enjoy a boss rush or two, you know. Maybe get a devil deal that we like. Maybe get a claw machine. No, 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 no. No, no, no. You know what? I'm not even going to... I'm not. I'm not going to play into this game. I'm not going to play your game. I'm going to put money in the donation machine, and that's going to be it. Until they inevitably give us a greed fight, which won't give us a donation machine, and then they're going to expect me to go into the hush fight, which I'm not going to do. You know, you got to you gotta be your be your own boss. Don't let the game get away with, with screwing you over. Foolishly holding on to the Queen of Hearts, thinking that we're going to get a play on a sacrifice room. Also, can we uh, can we stop taking bad damage, maybe? With this movement speed plus stopwatch, we really shouldn't be taking any damage. <clears throat> this little chip damage that we're getting here and there is uh, adding up real quickly. Good lord. Member card, that's a real funny game. Keys and we know what to do with here. All right, so all these I think were the wrong way to go. Let me just go confirm that real quick. Okay, yep, there we go. Right. And this constitutes as one of those rooms that I just don't feel like being in. If you don't have to do them, simply don't. Um, <clears throat> I mean, blind boss rush really is just not like boss rushes. Boss rushes are already kind of a risk because you're you're trying to get through the run without like wasting too much time. Thank you. I'm just padding, so yep. I'm gonna keep on holding on to. E cap attack here. Um, the D cap attack just bounce off of mom's foot instead of like going through it and dealing damage. I'm pretty sure that's what just happened. That's that's a new one game. I gotta say that is a new one. We go 73%. I'll take the Polaroid and we're just gonna head on down because I'm not gonna let the game get one over on us. Don't let the game get its way. That's that is the golden rule when it comes to Isaac. There's a fly there, of course. Yeah, we're not, we're, the, the idea of us getting a, a payout from Death's List is just, it just needs to stop, because if we get one, great, but it's not something that I'm going to expect at this point. So we need to start conserving our, we need to start conserving our HP. Um, it's, it might be for the better that we didn't get a double deal on that last floor. Um, since it would have been blind and had there, assuming there would have been items in there that we could have taken, uh, obviously they would have been blind, so, you know, we would have probably died a few times in there trying to figure out what, what items we were going to get, assuming there are multiple items in there, but now we gotta, we gotta shift over to survival mode. Our DPS is fantastic based on our, on our tiers rate, and our base damage is also quite high with 8.2. Not the highest, but you know, it's it's serviceable. It's it's really the tears rate that kind of drives this over the edge for us. I swear to God, I saw that spider get killed and then phase back into a existence. Ecap is doing some doing some weird, funky things right now. There's a uh, dark matter helping us out a little bit. soul heart back not that it's gonna really matter and actually in actuality I probably should have left that soul heart behind 
assuming i mean we are going to get a devil deal here whether or not it's going to be one that like again has any like it has any takeable items is a that's a whole different story but if we do get any more swords from here on out i should leave them behind um that way we have a little bit of protection going into womb two euro two and we got shifted to the other side of the world here the gimpy gimpy really proving to be invaluable here with the uh the little hit protection that we're getting I don't know how that red host on the left side died, but you know what? We're just going to roll with it. Yeah, you know, we're kind of just peppering bloat here before he even gets a chance. He had stood no chance in that fight. You get HP. I'm not going to take it because I'm anticipating us having a devil deal item in here that we're going to take, which is going to cost us our HP. We're going to die, and then we can leave here with not only two HP, but also that soul heart. And yeah, it's pretty much exactly what I was talking about. Although Fear of the Night is going to give us Leviathan. Um, so it's better for Spirit of the Night costs, I believe. That doesn't matter. I'm overthinking it. It really doesn't matter because we're we're gonna get our soul hearts in anyway. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, super secret room's probably here. And yep. Where in the world did we get teleported to? Another death list opportunity. I'll tell you what. Okay, so we've got spear of the night. We got spectral tears. We have leviathan, which is good. We have a decent amount of HP. Might as well check the arcade. We theoretically could play the demon, the demon Monty, but it's really not worth it because, like, how often the how often do you really see the demon, the demon three skull Monty pay out with something that like you need? Okay. Especially when it doesn't register the fact that like you know if you tap him. There we go. Okay, we got a soul heart. Okay, we got some bombs. We did sneak a extra tap there. Not that it mattered, but. Yeah, so. Remember when I was saying how, like, you rarely get anything from Demon Judgment, Monty? Yeah. 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 Okay. Trying my best to get the Desolate's payout here. I would love to get a little bit more damage. Not that we're hurting for damage. You have a Soul Heart. Okay. Okay. I'm down with it. Obviously, we cannot gain access into the boss trap room without us being on 1 HP. The room is going to be north of here. At least it should be anyway. Okay, good. MP once again being MVP right now. And one thing you can do if if you ever find yourself with death list and you want to you just absolutely need to get payouts what you can do is if if the list gets reset or like screws up or you like whatever if let's just say you don't you don't have any chance of getting the list what you can do is you can bomb your way out of the room and reset it and then try again that's the surefire way to get a second shot especially without with and you have as many chances as you want with as many bombs as you have right so like if you just if you keep screwing it up or if like you know say like rotten baby or something screws you like this room here like we we probably shouldn't fail this room in here we just leave bomb our way I mean this is of course assuming that you clear the previous room then try again it's also a good way to practice as well in case you need to practice your accuracy and you're not really impressed for not only pressed for any like you know timing achievements or anything like that Run him into the spiders here. There we go. 
Yeah, it's just it's those little things that you can do to try to improve yourself and and become a better Isaac player. As he says, he says as he gets hit like immediately against one like the easiest, most avoidable hits of damage in the game. Ecap, of course, completely blocking off any shots except for the brimstone shot from Mom. So this is, I mean, kind of a, I dare say, a little bit of an easier fight. So don't need to worry about the projectiles, and we do not get a double deal. But hey, at least we have flying. Those, those little things that you can do to just kind of improve. And again, talking about, hey, we got movement speed. Talking about the concept of just giving you more options to win. Same thing same thing to do with, with Death's List. Those little plays like that. You know, it, it's like you wouldn't think that those plays existed in a game like Isaac, right? You just play it. You play it. You kill stuff. You maybe win. You maybe lose. And that's, that's all that she wrote. But there is a very, a very deep layer of strategy it's as deep as you want to go in terms of strategy and, and theory and that sort of thing when it comes to Isaac really wish we'd stop taking this chip damage here really no like there's zero excuse for it I mean we have movement speed we've got damage we've got flying we've got spectral tears Unfortunately, we can't really reliably get these blue fires with bombs unless we take a hit. Um, you can if you get the exploding champion on it. Like you can technically uh, blow up the the fires there, but yeah, we would have to take a hit in order for us to actually get any sort of benefit out of those blue fires. And I can do that unless we go down to like one HP. Then you know, then it's worth it to just try. Shot speed upgrade, which I am fine with. Okay, so the sack room here is interesting, but it's not, in my opinion. If we had two red hearts, it would be that'd be one thing, All right? But we don't. I am gonna clear this room though, just in case we do decide to play the sack room. Gonna spawn something. I know it's gonna spawn something. Yep, there it is. Yeah. So if I really wanted to, we could reset this room and just try it again. But when you're talking about enemies that spawn stuff, when it comes to death list, just don't even worry about it. It's it's honestly, unless under the most extreme circumstances where you have to get a payout from death list, it's not worth resetting the room like that. An exercise in frustration, kind of like taking like hits over and over and over again from these random shots. This is the, as you see here, the effect of having a little too much movement speed. That is the thing, that is the thing in Isaac, no matter what people say. You got explosive diarrhea on top of, para, of uh, paralysis. Do it again. All right, we gained, uh, gained nothing out of that. Except, are you a wizard? I was really hoping they were going to get like a, I don't know, a health up. Would have been nice. Yeah, this is, uh, are you a wizard is going to make this? Oh, never mind. We're good. Yeah, so this is what decap can do for you. Decap is a great way of just completely shutting down any enemy that has a uh, that has a projectile attack. I decided to use Ace of Clubs there just because I don't feel like dealing with the I don't feel like dealing with the fetuses. 
And of course, we slid right into the uh, <laughs> slid right into the the uh, crack the skizzle. Try that again. Try that again without being without being terrible here. I gotta say, you know, decap decap has been just it's been showing up. You know, again, it's not what I would consider a, like a premier item, but it's one of those few items that you can use it for offense or defense, and I kind of dig that. It's not. It's definitely not the first item I think of when it's like, man, what what are some of the what are some of the S tier active items in Isaac? You know. But you can be resourceful with it. You can really get a lot of good use out of it. And, uh, you know, it does tend to help you with defense in case you need it, like against Isaac or Mom's Heart. It's all right there. We're looking, we're looking okay. We only have one HP, though, so we do still have to be careful. But this is where all that chip damage really starts to add up. And uh, speaking of damage here, we get Cricket's head. Just going to give us lots of damage. However, um, yeah, still with one HP, we're going to just we're going to just have to beast mode this. Our damage is definitely going to be a factor. Keeping us safe, he says. Again, that was one of those things where things were just moving so slow. Your brain is like, uh. Nothing in this universe could possibly move this slow, and then we just die. Which I don't really mind, obviously, because like we've got you know nine lives, but also we have Gimpy, so I don't mind taking a hit here or there. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say that was deliberate, but it is nice that we have the forgiveness factor of uh, of Gimpy, so I'm not playing too 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 conservatively. I'll do this because I don't feel like being in this room, and there's no reason for us being in there. The damage upgrade finally out of uh, Death's List. We'll take Milk, even though it's not really going to matter for us. And yeah, I'm just going to do this because we don't need to be in here. All right. All right. Okay. Conquest apparently will go uh, totally and utterly invincible. During that animation, he gets slowed by Gimpy. I somehow knew he was going to do that. I like as soon as he went, as soon as he went super slow, I just knew that he was going to do something like that. Okay, now I'm now I'm getting annoyed. Game. I also love how Deathless only stays on one of the conquests for this part. We're done. We're done. We're done messing around here, game. The combination of the animations going super slow and us going super fast with our movement speed is surprisingly. Oh yeah, take Crystal Key. Have, have a little bit of fun. At least attempt to have a little bit of fun. I mean, God forbid, right? Crystal Key is going to give us a chance to open up red doors whenever we close or whenever we clear a room. I actually thought that I hit decap to recall the head back and then realized that we didn't. Hey, look at that. All right. Quad purple cages. Well, how you're still alive. How are you still alive? How are you still alive? We have laid into that cage. I mean, we know it's the same cage, too, because it had the skull over it. And yeah, that's the wrong way to go. Now, the red door really shouldn't be doing any extra... Any extra stuff here, but we have 99 cents, and we also just found a shop as well as the ultra secret room in one fell swoop. So sure, we get Maw of the Vizoid. Oh my goodness! A freaking Maw of the Void out of nowhere. 
And also a blank room. Which gives to guys. Hey, look at that. Mercano rune. Wow. Well, that worked out to be pretty... That was a nice little surprise there. Out of nowhere, we get uh, Maul of the Void. We can go back and go get that Soul Heart if we really wanted to, which we don't need to. That Crystal Key is showing up. Uh... Good. Crystal Key is showing up in a big way. That's what, that's what we like to call a big-time play, son. That is a big time play showing up out of nowhere. And also, this is some big time dead ends. All right. Keep that key. If anything, this allows me to go get this soul heart now. All right. Here we go. Now we're ready to finish off the chest, shall we? I think we spend more time. We've spent more time in this chest than we have in like the last four levels combined. Trying to kill Monster 2 before. Spawns a bunch of stuff, and he was able to get it off right at the end. Aggie's bow is going to seal the deal, give us a whole bunch of HP. Also, double healing for the rest of the uh, rest of the run. I was trying to kill them all with Maw of the Void, but it didn't quite work out in our favor. So we're going to get the dub here. Got a little bit. Got yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit tilting in the in the chest after. Well, conquest is really what did it for me. But getting Maw the Void at the very end out of nowhere, thanks to the of all things, the Crystal Key is uh, was a nice little surprise. Because that is going to push us over for this the the sort of almost domination win that we got here this run. So thank you for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button. And honestly, shout out to Decap for making it happen. We had a uh, we had a, you know, it was just a strong, strong showing from Decap, showing you exactly the power they can do with the block shots. I mean, the uptime that you can get from it, you know, just keeping you safe and just dealing damage from, like, remote areas of the room. It's really good. So we'll definitely take it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button, leave a comment down below. Have a great start to your Wednesday, everyone. Don't forget, I will be streaming tonight over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Invicta. Probably playing some Isaac, probably opening up some Pokemon cards. So if you've not seen the card opening, uh, streams definitely come check it out they're a lot of fun you might find yourself an enjoyable experience and as always i'll see you all next time until then so long everybody thanks for watching this video like and thanks to pages of mine like paradoxes blackheart and charleston if you'd like to have your name read at the end of the isaac episode check out my patreon campaign which you can find at patreon.com slash invicta